I dropped out of college at age 19 to pursue my dream life of being a personal trainer, being a triathlete, and being self-employed, doing what I wanted to do on my own terms. And I first got into personal training by doing some life coaching with people. Because the first thing you do in, as a personal trainer when you meet a client is you get some background from them. You get some background. You say, all right, what's your current diet like right now? What's your current day in the life look like? How much fitness do you do on a regular basis? And you start asking them all these questions. And I realized that one of the questions that, I and mean, pretty much one of the only self-development questions people ever get asked in their life is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Or what do you want to do as a career? What kind of job do you want to have? And sure, that's a, that's a cool question to ask. It's a cool question to, to ask because it gets the person who's going to answer the question thinking about what they actually want to do. And very few people actually know what they want to do. Very few people have put in the time or the attention or focus on themselves enough to figure out what they want to do. But if a person is not able to answer that question, if you listening to this right now are not able to answer the question of what do you want to be when you grow up or what do you want to do when you're older or what kind of job do you want to have, instead of getting worried or anxious about not being able to pinpoint that exact job, just think about how you want to feel. What kind of feelings do you want to feel on a daily basis? Do you want to feel inspired? Do you want to feel motivated? Do you want to feel curious or fascinated? Do you want to feel important? Do you want to feel helpful? Do you want to feel creative? How do you want to feel? What sort of emotions do you want to feel? I would encourage you to write down these emotions on a piece of paper. Write down all the emotions you want to feel within a 24 hour span of time. And then think back to all the activities you've ever done in your life. And write down an activity that matches the way that that feeling represents for you. So if it's if the feeling you want to feel is fascination, think of a time when you felt fascinated. Maybe you were, maybe you were uh, reading a book. All right, so right now reading a book. Maybe one of the emotions you want to feel is adventurous. Think of a time when you felt adventurous. Maybe you were hiking. Maybe one of the emotions you want to feel is important. Think of a time when you felt important. Maybe you were helping an older person out. Or maybe you're helping a younger child out. Whatever it is, just match up the activity that you've once done with the feeling that you've once felt. And then that'll just give you a picture of some things, some actions that you can take to feel that way on a regular basis. And then think of all the careers or all the ways that you can make money doing those things that feel, that help you feel the way that you want to feel. Then take a step further and realize that you don't have to do any of those things to feel that way. You can just feel that way now. By remembering a feeling, you're bringing that feeling back into existence. You're, you're embodying that feeling again just by remembering how that feeling felt. If someone were to tell me to act angry right now, the only way I could act angry is by actually getting kind of angry. The only way for me to act happy is to actually feel happiness. So just realize that all these emotions that you want to feel, you don't need to do an activity to feel that emotion. You can just feel that emotion by remembering what it feels like to feel that emotion, to embody that emotion. And then realize that it doesn't matter what you're doing, it all that matters is how you're feeling. And when you're feeling good, good things are on the way, good, the more good things will come. Good things come to those who feel good. When you're feeling good, more good things happen. When you're feeling great, more great things happen. When you're feeling very, very thankful, you look around you and you can find things to be thankful for. You really can. And the opposite is of course true. When you're feeling like crap, you look around you, life is crap and things are just all crap. So it doesn't really matter what you're doing, it matters how you're feeling. And the way you feel is determined by where you're focusing. Focus equals feeling. Focus equals feeling. The other thing that controls how you feel is what you're putting in your mouth. What are you eating? And for those people who say, oh, what you eat doesn't affect the way you feel, well, hand them a couple tabs of acid, hand them a couple pills of ecstasy, hand them a bunch of painkillers and, and tell them to eat those and ask them how they feel after eating those. Of course what you put in your mouth affects the way you feel. Food is mood. High vibrational food equals high vibrational moods. When I'm eating amazing cantaloupes, I can't help but just feel 
that much more amazing. When I'm eating totally mediocre cantaloupes, I can't really, I mean, I can help myself by focusing somewhere else on what I'm really grateful for, but if I'm just focusing on the cantaloupe that I'm eating, which ideally, you know, you're focusing on the food that you're eating, if you're focusing on the mediocre cantaloupe that you're eating, you're gonna feel a mediocre feeling. And then when you're eating mediocre food, you really gotta be diligent with your focus. You really gotta like focus on what you're grateful for and focus on the beauty all around you. Look at that beauty. When you're eating high vibrational food, man, it is just a hack. It is just a big life hack. You eat amazing tomatoes, you eat amazing peaches or nectarines, you're just like, yes, you feel good. And if you eat a nectarine once and you feel great, I would encourage you to eat it again the next day or again for the next meal or again for the next little snack that you have. Have another great meal. If you watch an inspirational YouTube video and it makes you feel really good and uplifted and motivated, watch that same YouTube video again. If you read a paragraph in a book that just makes you feel shook, you're just like, wow, that paragraph, man. Reading that paragraph makes you feel something powerful. Then read that paragraph again. If you listen to an audiobook and it makes you feel like life is just going up and everything is good in life, listen to that audiobook again. Repeat things that work. Repeat things that work. Don't just do them once. You can't just eat one apple and expect to get healthy. You've got to eat apples at the exclusion of eating crap. You can't just go to the gym once and expect to get really fit. You've got to go to the gym almost every single day. Or at least every other day. Take a little rest day in between. You can't just learn or study a, a Spanish word once or a Spanish sentence or a paragraph once and expect to have it memorized. You've got to put in the time over and over and over again to get it done. If I want to chop down one of those trees, which I hope nobody does because I really, really love those trees. I have an emotional connection with those trees. If you want to chop down a tree, you've got to make hundreds if not thousands of hacks at the tree trunk to chop it down. One chop's not going to do it. So if you want to make a change in life, you want to make a change of a habit, you want to get rid of an old habit, you've got to do the right thing a thousand times. So if you want to pro reprogram your mind, if currently you're a person who's like resorts to negativity out of habit, you're a person who somehow um, starts feeling anxious or worried out of habit, or you see the negative of things, or you're just not feeling as happy as you want to feel, just know that you can reprogram your mind, but you've got to think the right kind of thoughts over and over and over and over and over again. And the way to think of the right kind of thought is to listen to other people's positive thoughts. Be around other positive people. And if you can't be around them physically, at least be around them with the internet. Use the internet to your advantage. I totally use the internet to my advantage. When I was 18, I was at my lowest point ever. Lowest point ever. I was just totally like having nervous breakdowns on the way to college and freaking out about my future, feeling super anxious, wasn't making any money, didn't want to do what I was doing. I started watching videos on the internet, super inspirational videos, and I watched them on a repeat because it was the one thing, the one anchor in my life that made me feel good, guaranteed. Because where you focus, you feel. And you say like, oh, so-and-so makes me feel this, or he or she makes me feel that. Nobody can make you feel anything, but if you're watching a YouTube video and you're focusing on it, just know that your focus is going to determine your feeling. So if you focus on something that's overtly inspirational, deliberately inspirational, you're going to feel that inspiration. And I would encourage you to let your actions flow from that inspiration. Inspired action is effortless. I am not putting any effort into this YouTube video if you can tell. This YouTube video I'm making right now is absolutely effortless. When I go to edit it, it's gonna be effortless as well. Probably the first thing I do when I get back in the house, take out this SD card, stick it in the computer and edit it. If it took effort, I wouldn't do it or I'd pay someone else to do it for me. If there are things in life I don't wanna do, I pay, people, I pay other people to do them for me. Totally fine, totally cool. something in life that you don't want to do, pay someone to do it. Make money doing what you love to do. And you can make money by doing what you love to do by getting good at it, by getting pretty good at it. You don't need to be the best in the world at doing what you love, but you get pretty good at it and then you start charging for it, you can make money with it. And the only way you're going to get good at something is if you love it anyway, you've got to put in the time. So, but you don't, want to, you don't want to get good at something you don't love. You don't want to get good at something you don't love. You don't want to get paid for doing something you don't love. Like, be very specific about what you get paid for. I do video editing for people. That's like my main gig. I get paid for editing videos, but there are some videos I just say, sorry, I won't do this. Even if you're going to pay me $200, I won't do it. The footage is horrible. I don't want to put all these photos and text on the screen for eight hours and get paid whatever it is, how much, how much I charge per hour. 
I don't want to be getting paid for doing something I don't want to do. So when it comes to video editing, I try and put all my time and energy and focus on the things I do want to create, like music videos or wedding videos or whatever sort of videos I want to edit, like highlight mashups, highlight reels. Those are really fun for me to edit. So even if it's like, oh, you say, oh, I want to be a teacher. Well, what kind of teacher do you want to be? Do you want to be a soccer teacher or a high school teacher, an elementary school teacher, a college professor? Do you want to teach raw food on YouTube maybe? Do you want to have your own TV show? Do you want to have your own Netflix series being a teacher? Be specific about what kind of teacher you want to be. If you say you want to have a husband or wife or whatever, be, be specific about what kind of husband or wife you want to have. What kind of characteristics do those do that wife or husband have? And then make sure you be that yourself as well. If you say you want to have a garden, what kind of garden? Big garden, small garden? The clearer you get with the things that you want, the more likely they're going to come into your life and the faster they're going to come into your life. The faster they come into your life when you're super clear on what, what it is you want. Again, if you don't know what it is you want, at least come up with a list of ways you want to feel. That's what this video is all about. Coming up with the ways that you want to feel. And just realize that it doesn't matter what you do, all that matters is how you feel. Because when you feel a good way, you're going to take action based on how, how you feel. All action is a result of how you're feeling. If you're still watching this video, it's because you either you felt too lazy to turn it off or you felt inspired enough to keep watching. If you have to go to the washroom, it's because you feel like going to the washroom. If you feel like going to sleep, I mean, sorry, if you go to sleep, it's because you feel like going to sleep. We do things because we feel like it. And if you want to get your body in a state of good feelings, do the things that you know work and do them every single day. Once is not enough. You can't watch one YouTube video and expect it to change your life. You can't read one book and expect it to change your life. You've got to read this book every single day. You've got to watch the YouTube video every single day. You've got to listen to MP3 every single day. So I've deliberately created an MP3 for you guys to listen to every single day. If you go in the description down below, you can see the link there. And it's a daily success MP3. It's called Your Success Missile. And it's just 10 minutes long and you listen to that every single day and it just reprograms you for success. Gets you back on track, gets you back on track, gets you back on track. So you can't fall off. You stay focused on your goals. Stay focused on what you want. Stay focused on the feelings that you want to feel. That's what that MP3 is designed to do. It's two bucks, right? You put a little investment in and what do you get back? I want to know what you get back. I've already had a bunch of people emailing me saying, holy crap, this is sweet. So I'd love for, to hear what you guys have to say. If you're still watching this video, it's definitely for you. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. Much love from... Port Moody, British Columbia. That's the ocean. Let's see your, what, what can you do with your mouth? You have to wet it, right? You have to wet it? Do it again, and put it on your lips. <laughs>